Hello guys, with recent LiveWire 3 release, we were asked quite a lot of times to create a new CRUD with the new LiveWire 3 features and also with model in that CRUD. And recently, a few weeks ago, we've published a premium article, long form 2000 words article on how to do that. And in this video, I will kind of summarize it for you. We'll skip some details. And if you want to get those details and the repository, you should subscribe to Laravel Daily Premium for premium tutorials, which is on top of premium courses. But you will get the main idea from this video, even if you're not a premium member. So this will be our result. So table with model window for create and edit form. And as a preparation for Laravel project, this is just one table and model of products with name and description, nothing really fancy. Then depending on your starter kit, where you do that live wire install into, you may make some changes. In our case, we customize default Laravel breeze where we need to remove Alpine because Alpine comes with LiveWire 3 by default. And also we needed to change the config of the main layout because we will use full page component for the product list. And by default, LiveWire expects this layout. Location in our case is not components, but just layout. So we published LiveWire config and customized it. Then we'll make the live wire component with for now just the table of products, create the route. As I said, we're using that as a full page live wire component without Laravel controller. And in the navigation, we add a link. Then in the blade of that resources views for now is just a table. So nothing really fancy here for else or for each of products. And here we'll have edit button and on top we'll have add button in a second. And this is the result so far, just the table without any products because we haven't seeded anything yet. Next, we make two things for the form, live wire component for product model, and then also live wire form, which would use form objects from live wire three that wasn't available in live wire two. And also on top of that, we add a third layer, third class, which will be a model window. For that, we install a package from wire elements model and this would be the structure. So our model component would extend not the component of live wire, but instead model component from the package wire elements. And then in the form, in that product form that we generated, we fill in the blade with inputs and those blade components are from Laravel Breeze, by the way. Then also with LiveWire Breeze, we add a button with dispatching the model. This comes from the wire element package. And after pressing new product, it should look something like this. Next, let's take care of saving the data. For now, we have just the empty form. So we need to add properties to that form object in LiveWire, then add that form object class into model component and then add wire models everywhere and also validation errors. Then in that form object for product form, we define the save and we define the validation rules, which would be automatically called if you use this validate. So from our main live wire component product model, we need to just call this form save and then form object from live wire will take care of everything else. And also we close the model after that happens. And this is the result after list refresh, we have a new product in the table. Now to edit the product, we need to make some changes in the existing classes. So we need to add product with question mark, which means it could be nullable in the create form case. And if it's not the case, if product exists, which means the edit form, then we set the product into our form object, which looks like this. So also in the form object, we define this and set product sets the main object and also all the wire model values. And then in the save method, we need to cover both cases if we have a create or edit operation. This is the case if you use the same form object and the same live wire component for both create and edit forms. This doesn't necessarily have to be the case. You may choose to use separate things. Then you would avoid if statements here and there. And also for the validation kind of extra tip in the same article, if you use form objects of LiveWire 3, the error messages come with form prefix like this. So the form name field is required. You can override that by defining the method validation attributes in the same form object class. And then the validation errors are okay. And as I said, the full code can be found in the GitHub repository. That link will be available for all the premium members who can access the full article. And I wanted to show you that kind of as an example of what premium tutorials we write on top of Laravel daily courses. So if you go to premium tutorials, there's a list of articles which are typically 1000 words at least. 
often two or three thousand, which is usually a deep dive, step-by-step, -step, longer form of the tutorials. Not enough to have a full course on the topic, but much longer than a typical YouTube video or a short article would be. Now, what do you think about this approach of LiveWire 3 CRUD form with model? Would you do it the same way? Or maybe you would choose different routes for some of the features? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.